What's up all you beautiful, gorgeous, sexy people there. Welcome back to my gym in 2K14 with the Utah Jets. Trey Burke, Roy Hibbert, Richard Jefferson, and the Utah Jazz. And today we're facing off against the Indiana Pacers. Paul George, David West, and whoever else they have. Lance Stevenson. So guys, we're facing off against them. Roy Hibbert's old team. The team we traded to get the big man. The big dude. The seven foot two monster. That's right. Unfortunately, they didn't play Gordon Hayward like at all. I don't know why. Like he's a beast. But we just didn't need him on our team. We need to acquire assets. So you've seen the title of this. And Roy Hibbert, he's a monster. He's crazy good. I love him. He's my man crush. He's my boy. He's my brother from another mother. So, anyways, guys, let's recap a little bit first. Last week, we faced off against the OKC Thunder in a rematch from the first game of the season. And this time, we won. We beat them. After getting demolished in the first game, we finally beat them. Nice block favors. Too bad you couldn't get the ball back. F you, David West, from taking the ball from me. So, anyways, we got revenge against the OKC Thunder. We basically beat them at the last second. As Burks, Alec Burks, dunks them cookies. He's dunking it on everyone. Slam it down in your face. So, anyways, guys, we beat the Thunder, and now we're facing off against the Pacers. The Pacers, in my opinion, hopefully, hopefully, they beat the Heat. I'm from Ohio. I hate LeBron. I hate LBJ. When, basically, when everyone was rioting in Cleveland, I wanted to go up there, and I wanted to burn his jersey. I wanted to grab his jersey. I want to take a poopy in it, and I want to burn it, because I hate LeBron. And I'm hoping the Pacers in real life dethrone them this year. So, anyways, we're, get, we're against the Pacers. They have Paul George. Paul George is a, he's a man. He's a man. He's, he's pretty good, actually. He's just doing me dirty. Not yet. You, you don't see him rock me yet. But he does rock me eventually. So, I want to talk a little bit about why, what's with 2K. As I get alley ooped on, what's with 2K screwing over my GM? Like, they, I felt they did me dirty. Pretty much, I loved, I loved the old association mode. All you had to do is just hop in, play the game, and that's all you had to worry about. Besides maybe training a few people that here and there, or acquiring new people in the offseason. Basically, you didn't really have to do much, and I love that. But here in my GM, in this year's 2K14, at least on the next gen consoles, you have to do everything for your team. You have to hire a doctor. You have to hire a trainer. Hire a freaking spa person or something. You had to do everything for your team. You had to even like hire a banker or whatever. Not a banker, like a scout and all that stuff. And then someone to man manage your finances. I don't want to do all that stuff, 2K. All I want to do is hop into the mode and make sure my team's okay. Like, I don't want to, want to have to pay VC, your virtual currency, your virtual stripper money, in order just to play a game. So, uh, I'm bringing this up because Eric Gordon, I think his name's or Ben Gordon, I don't remember his name. But my starting shooting guard, he came up hurt for some reason. We end the game, it's like, oh, your shooting guard's hurt, so you're pretty much screwed. You have no two now. Luckily, my other dude, Brandon Rush, came back from his injury, so now he's the two, and I've lost two of my starters already. Actually, I lost Derek Favors earlier, too, but he came back, luckily. It was just a day-to-day. -day. And you have to, in order to get your team to be healthy, you have to upgrade your doctor. And then I think that's bullcrap. I know my, I got some old men out there. They're like people with the rockers. They have them brittle, brittle bones and I'm getting like screwed over I, I know like I know they're old I know they're old people but they're not that old to where they need assistance all the time so they shouldn't be getting freaking injured every other day just from jumping up and landing on their feet that's lame that's stupid look at Hibbert he just does him dirty you just got done did you just got done did dirty so anyways guys I, I just I think they should go back to the old mode where they just let us play and we don't have to worry about all that crap that is on the side other than that like 2k they're pretty good this generation but they can still improve greatly like this is nothing compared to what they could do they still have animations from like 2k 12 and 2k 11 that need to be taken out or improved on at least it's the same old crap so anyways I need a doctor I need to upgrade that position in order so my people don't get hurt in order so I have like someone to take care of my team and I get done dirty by Lance Stevenson. So you see it's in the first quarter already and we're in the second 
quarter. We're up. We're demolishing them almost. We're up by nine. And I'm just going to back Hibber down. He's going to back that big old booty into Lance Stevenson. And we, I'm just going to demolish whoever, ever, who's ever in the paint. I'm unleashing the Kraken. He's like Freddy Krueger out there. He's just killing everyone. He's taking names. He's killing people. He's taking your manhood. So we're up at the half by 11 we got the lead we got stuff going we're doing things right already and i'm like luckily i'm amazed because i didn't think i'd have much success against the pacers because they're decent they're pretty good but you take away their big man i get the alley oop you take away their big man in the paint all they have is andrew bynum and andrew bynum's a bit of a puss he doesn't really do much he's just a big old baby out there that's like that's my interpretation of him all he does is complain he whines he's been with the 76ers and then he went to cleveland and now he, he's on the pacers and i think he's i don't know what he does he might actually play now I'm not sure but basically he's a big old baby and that's all they have now since i took away the real the real big man the real deal and hibbert so guys last episode we also talked about making a trade and trying to get that small ball going i usually talk about trades a little bit until i make one and I'm going to bring it up more uh, specifically next episode. But one of you guys mentioned that I should trade to get Thaddeus Gibson. The comment's going to pop up now. It's from Jesse. He says I should trade favors, which I was thinking about trading anyways, in order to get uh, Thaddeus Young. And I agree. I, maybe I should try to do that. Maybe I could have him at the forward because he's a more versatile forward. He can play either wing, either forward, and that would be great. We can get him. We can do that. I looked into it, and it would cost like a second round pick also with Derek Favors so I don't know if I want to do that we'll, we'll talk about that eventually if you if anyone else has any suggestions let me know let me know what I should do just throw some advice give me some love give me some comments tell me what I should do what you'd like to see and, you know we just have a good time we just have a party we just see a brotherly love on a YouTube channel that's what we're gonna be just without the love part just brothers brothers or sisters whatever you are so anyways guys um, I just got done did again. I, I'm getting dirty. David West just did me up the butt. He got me good. He did me dirty. He did he did Derek Favors and Roy Hibbert dirty. You see that I'm like a ballerina out there. I'm spinning around. I'm just trying to get to the hoop. I didn't even think it would work. I thought I was gonna lose the ball, so I'm just doing spins and stuff. And then David West does me dirty again. But then I'm gonna come back with Burks and I'm gonna dunk them cookies. I thought that was a tomahawk or something, but I slammed that down. I was like an Indian with his tomahawk. I was doing work and then I dunk it again. I get that next alley oop oop. Ooh. So guys, we're up. We're gonna go on to win this game. You see right now, I'm up by like 16. There's no way they're gonna come back. I'm not gonna let them come back because I'm just dunking it on everyone. I'm just dunking it with everyone. Richard Jefferson, the bald man, decided he wanted to get into the action. So then I drop it into the post. The one thing that's good about my team right now is we get a ton of rebounds. We get a ton of blocks. And look at David West, he just won't stop. He just keeps doing it. Like, I, I know, you're good. You're, you're good, you're muscular. You're good, I know. I know, but I don't want to feel like I'm in prison. Okay, so stop doing me dirty. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. That was beautiful. And then Richard Jefferson comes back. He wanted back in the action. And he dunks it on Paul George. Get out of the picture, Paul George. You got no hope. You got no chance against my bald man. He's just going to own you. So I get steal there, and then you know what's going to happen. I'm just going to dunk. Rush, the new starting sat or two spot. He dunks it. So he's in the action. Everyone's dunking them cookies all up in this. So anyways, I'm going into the fourth quarter. I'm up by 19, and this is when Paul George does me dirty. dirty. Look at that. He just comes up. He's like, screw you. I'm just going to do whatever I want, and I'm going to get the three. But then here's my big man, my monster. He's going to get that rebound, and he's going to dump them cookies. So guys, we're up now by 20 again, and then Richard Jefferson's going to get the steal. I'm thinking, like, after this, if it keeps going this way, if I keep blowing out good teams, then I'm not going to keep it at this uh, setting because... Who wants to blow everyone up? That's not fun. I want to at least be able to rage a little bit and throw my controller. Because that's that's what I like in a game. I like losing sometimes. I want a challenge. I don't like this pansy crap where you win all the time. Who likes that? Nobody wants to win all the time. You want to increase your team. Get out of here. Get out of here. Rejected. You just, just like one of those nerdy guys that likes that hot chick. The shallow hot chick, I may add. Who gets rejected. So anyways... Basically, guys, we're going to, as I said, we're going to go on the win this. They're trying to double-team me now, and it's not going to work. 
I got my vengeance on David West. He was doing me dirty before. I felt like I was in prison. Now I made him my prison biatch. I did him dirty. So, guys, next episode, I'll go more in depth into a look at trades, what offers I got for Derek Favors, stuff like that. But we go on to win this game. We do some good things. We're heading towards the playoffs. Anyways, guys, stay frosty. I love you.